Hey y'all, I'm Parisian and this is Dream of Parisian Tarot. We're gonna get a few calls from my Virgos, okay? So please like this video if it resonates at all. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to check out my TikTok. The link is down below in the description box. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is also down below in the description box. Let's get a few calls from my Virgos. So the first card I'm seeing, we got Cousin Competition, okay? So you know, watch out for your cousins because they in competition with you. Calling you in your dreams or pay attention to your dreams, someone's trying to call you. It said they got a reading on you. So there is a tarot reader involved in this situation. Somebody got a reading on you. You have a lot of emotional intelligence. Okay. And we have marriage material. Defend yourself. So someone could be trying to attack you. Someone's trying to get information on you. And it says they didn't know how valuable you were. So someone didn't see your value. They didn't treat you right. And now they're starting to see your value now. There is someone giving you the evil eye and they watching you, okay? You need to defend yourself. We got afraid of someone not being loyal. So loyalty could be very important to someone here. Yeah, these people are liars. And you need to be careful. We have living with my dad. And someone could be having self-esteem issues. We got a secret stalker. So someone's secretly stalking you. And we got cold as fuck. Now, a lot of times when cold as fuck comes out, someone's just protecting their energy, protecting themselves. And we have a homeboy interfering. So someone homeboy was interfering in someone's connection or relationship. There could be someone who has a bipolar disorder. And a football coach could be involved in this situation. All right. Someone could be having dental surgery. And your person is very protective of you. It says, let's run away together. And I'd rather be alone than settle. We got a passenger princess. I think this was just coming out in Capricorn's reading. You got a good omen. Okay. Someone could be in an open relationship or it could be poly or something like that. And you could be a bit of an introvert, a person who stays to themselves, don't really associate with people or talk to people. But it says he cut her off. So a masculine energy cut off someone. Let me move some of this to the side, y'all. And it said, this bitch did the most to ruin your name. So somebody was trying to ruin your name and ruin your reputation with some type of lies because we got liars up there too. Um, we have intense ancestral initiation. So um, somebody's, your ancestors may be trying to talk to you and they could be trying to get you ready for something. Um, someone could definitely be having some type of generational curses that's going on within their family members and you're being chosen to like fix it or heal the situation, okay? So some of y'all could definitely be already be tapped in. Some of y'all could be tarot readers. But somebody's getting initiated to do something. Your level of unbothered inspires them because someone is trying to attack you or sabotage you, but you are unbothered. And they regretting how things ended between you two. You're highly motivational, so a lot of people could look up to you and listen to you, and they've been fantasizing about you. You've been making connections and networks, so someone's definitely an online influencer, a content creator, or something like that. I'm also seeing a loved one out of jail, getting out of jail. And we have a new bathing suit. They want to get their own viewpoint on you. And my baby mama don't like you. Somebody want to go out and have baddie activities with you? And yeah, somebody here got the gift of foresight. Somebody's a seer, a reader. Keep going. You're almost there. Someone could be a weed head. And something about the credit union. We have the self-care day. That's what you need. 
And we have in love. Somebody been lying about their whereabouts. And you are perfect. Needs to be by water. Something about an autistic kid. Go for a run. Attention will be drawn to you. We also have Medusa and his side of the family. Trying to break up a fight. Mind your fucking business. The seeds you planted are about to sprout. All right? You could be a high valued woman. Somebody got abandonment issues. They told people you was a hoe. We have a party or event coordinator. Impatient. You have divine bodyguards. And they see you got the power. Someone could have been cheating. And you have so much wisdom. Also know if this is not happening directly to you. It could be happening to your person or somebody around you. So put it with every fits, okay? I could be saying he when really it could be a she. So flip it and reverse it how need be. open up the deck the energy for y'all is we got gratitude it says find just one thing you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body it's a healing balm like the warmth of the sun okay because somebody's going through some hardship at this time could be a bit sad about something but it says may i embrace what's happening right now as baffling or painful as it is help me god to trust where you are guiding me i am yours so someone could be a bit sad but think about all the things that you're grateful for at this time, okay? Cards for my Virgo. Spirit for my Virgos. We got money. So somebody could definitely be having money issues because I think it kind of came up with So it says, All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I need and cling to gain or feel lost. Every need will be met through offering to the divine. So someone could be having money issues and perfectionism. You could be trying to perfect something at this time. But it says permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the presence of perfectionism. Okay? So maybe something is not coming out the way that you want. Or maybe something is not happening the way that you want. Or um, maybe something is messing up your money or you feel like um, you need more money at this time. But definitely trying to think positive, all right? Keep positive energy about it. Let me see. Mistakes. Somebody might have made a mistake with a, making the wrong choice and they could have messed up their money or bought the wrong thing or something like that. Maybe somebody could have gave lent somebody some type of money or something. But somebody feels like bad about the decision that they've made and now they in their feelings about it truth it's some type of truth coming out about some type of mistakes somebody could be getting karma and it's fucking with their money that's what i'm seeing let me get another one from my virgos yeah somebody in despair over a love situation I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit, lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. It says it's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember I myself am love. And attention. What's in, under it? Courage. Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me to come true. <sighs> so definitely focus on your intention on what you want, okay? Let's see. What's going on here? Page of 
page of pentacles so you could be learning something new also you got a new opportunity coming in somebody heartbroken you could have been put in a third party situation someone could have been cheating on you all right somebody very very heartbroken and sad right now you got the seven of cups somebody could have had options and somebody from your either somebody from your past coming back or somebody from their past came back okay but they want like a new beginning in love or a recommitment in love here page of one so some type of shocking news came out and somebody been stalking and watching you had a secret stalker and stuff could be a cancer scorpio pisces that's involved with somebody intuitive somebody could be a reader or go into a reader and they get in some type of success and somebody want to communicate with this person that's getting this success they want to go out and have fun with them but somebody was juggling or playing both sides in the situation and somebody could be planning some type of trip or wanting to go on some type of trip or something with you i had a cut somebody left right you could live they could live somebody live and now they want to come back running towards you even though you live so they don't want to let you go five six seven seven of pentacles somebody could be waiting for something like you could have started something planted something or doing something right and you, it's about to sprout in some type of way and somebody's like feeling sad because everything is sprouting for you everything is turned into gold for you stuff like that and they feeling regretful about what they did yeah because they feeling like they lacking something that you got this definitely connected to capricorn reading so but the hey man, they get a new perspective on you. Something being put on hold for them. They feel like you have everything. You have the family. You have stability. And they want to fight you because you have this this abundance. Also, somebody could be wanting to fight their own family. That's probably why the first call we've seen is cousin competition. Somebody family members involved. They arguing about a baby. Somebody could be pregnant or mad that somebody got pregnant. Go another baby right here. So it's argument about a baby or children. Somebody heartbroken over the whole situation. Let me see. As soon as I open up the deck, the energy for my Virgos is, yeah, you could have been dealing with a playboy, so they definitely could have put you in a third-party situation. He got holes in different area codes. And it says, I have been talking to my friends about you, so they've been talking to their friends, getting advice about you. Let's see. Ain't no telling what they've been saying. Let me see. Yeah, they were sending people to you to gather information as well. So it was a lot of people that was involved focused in, focusing in on this situation. So you had... um, Yeah, because this person was attached to a lot of toxic sexual energies. These Jezebel spirits. And it says, how much money do you make pocket watch because you look successful and everybody is watching you be successful or receiving something in some type of way. Like I said, everything turns into gold for you. And uh, they watching how you do, but they're also mad and hating at the same time. And for some of y'all, it's your own damn family. But yeah, some of y'all are getting some type of new car, new home, new job. You're looking brand new. You're looking very abundant. Okay? And they hating out there. And now they feeling like a big dummy because they see you doing good without them. You left, they want to come running back to you. I chose trash over you and I realized my mistakes now. So now they realizing they fucked up. And these karmics don't even know if they hate you. And this this was energy was coming out in Capricorn reading too. Um, but the karmic has a weird love-hate thing going on for you. So they don't know if they hate you or love you. All right? But you inspire these people ghosted i need time to think about this so they could have ghosted you um very inconsistent and but while they're ghosting you they still thinking about you they just don't want to confess the shit that they've been doing let soon as i open up the deck the energy for my capricorns eat now we don't no, we doing virgos i'm sorry Okay, Capricorn definitely got something to do with. But we got time with friends. Yeah, they've been talking to their they've been talking to their friends too goddamn much. I'm seeing too much friend shit. Alright, when you do stuff like this, it get real messy. Alright? Somebody's not thinking with their own mind. They have to seek validation from other people, being very childish and immature. We got masks is on. So they hiding their feelings. Somebody could have been dealing with their twin flame. Or hiding feelings um, for their twin flame.
Love is coming though. All right. And say, take my hand. So they come in. They want you to take their hand. They want to make things better. But it's been some type of hurtful words between you. Something that you said hurt them or something that um, they said hurt you. But they want you to listen to them, okay? Also, they could be playing music and thinking of you. Or you could be getting signs and synchronicities in music. But this person puts you on a pedestal, okay? And other people could be getting mad that they put you on the pedestal because this person is a bit of a playboy. And them karma is going to get mad. Now, your person wants you to leave space for them. They don't want you to close the door on them, all right? They don't want you to give up on them. They want you to be open for love. They want you to um, not have boundaries with them and stuff. In the hands of time. So this person see a future with you. Wanting to grow old with you. So we did see marriage material, right? But they ain't heavy regret for how they treated you and how they did you. Alright. As soon as I open up the deck, the energy for y'all is... It says... We got sex. They want to have sex with you. says I worry about us a lot mm. say let me hold you now this person can have a lot of strength and ego about themselves and it says I am absolutely in love with you I need time for me, though. I just want you all the time. So this person wants you all the time. Even if they are ghosting you, not talking to you, they want you all the time, okay? But think before you act. So they thinking about what they going to say or what they going to do for you to fix things, okay? So and you might need time to heal because this person just it has still not cut out these other people. It's still some type of big toxic situation going on. And this person needs to learn how to listen to their own mind instead of having everybody all up in y'all business making stuff even worse. Okay, they really putting a target on your back for real, for real. With all these people involved. As soon as I open up the deck, what we saying? It hurts that you believe what they said instead of asking me because talk to the wrong people they're getting the wrong um information wrong advice stuff like that they sit up there listening to uh, what other people say that's what i'm saying this is mm -mm. they are inspired by you but refuse to give you credit also somebody feels owed some type of money or feel like you owe them in some type of way Your energy is amazing. People love to be around you. So you got beautiful energy about yourself. But you could be cutting off everybody. Everybody involved getting cut off for trying to sabotage you and listening to bullshit about you. It says, just because I'm busy doesn't mean I don't think about you. So somebody could definitely be very, very busy. Cards from my Virgos. It says, I know you think I forgot about you, but I haven't. So it might not be as much communication between you two. It says their friend group at a school is horrible. Uh, it says he knows that the karmic is crazy and wants to attack you, but he's not having it. So your masculine is protecting you from a crazy karmic. It says the way you already knew about what was going on behind the scenes is crazy because somebody's either a terrorist, a psychic, intuitive, or witch something. If you're going to keep believing them over me, I'm gone because if the, somebody was listening to the wrong people, were listening to bullshit, not listening to themselves, trying to block your channel so you could have like a YouTube, a TikTok, an Instagram, or just your divine channel, period. Someone's trying to block you and create blockages for you. Don't trust your family. And it's a lot of chit chat about who you're dating or sleeping with. So everybody is not minding their business. And that's a big problem here. Cars. I'm also, uh, I, I almost made a mistake and said Leo as well. So a Leo could have something to do with this situation too. Leo and a Capricorn. It 
says, I know I'm guilty and I know you deserve an explanation. So they know this shit, right? They just don't want to confess what they did. Trying to figure out the perfect thing to say to you. So they're trying to get it together, though. And people are seeing that you're so sweet, but the karmic made you seem evil. You got beautiful energy about yourself. It says they wish they never did it, but they're already too deep in. So they fucked you over real hard already or something like that. So they can't like take it back or something. So it's like people want to apologize to you. And it says, with all this chaos going on, our connection has to be something special. A lot of people are against this connection or causing issues for it. And it says, you know what they were trying to do and now they scared because you went to them too. They believe they know all of your secrets and moves, but they don't. I showed your news. And that's probably why the homeboy's watching you or something. I can't do nothing but blame myself for listening to all them lies. Again, with their friend group is at a school is horrible. So it may somebody maybe somebody in school and they got friends like in their class or some shit like that, but it's their friend group ain't no good. Somebody getting turned the fuck off by everything. Do you still feel the same on his time put out the flame? They wonder. Secret plans to propose. A friend is lying. So a friend coming in between. You did have homeboy interference too. And it says your success makes others feel like they're not doing enough. They hate you. And it says an ex-lover knows that you're intelligent and sees that you're a role model. The karma tried to tap into your energy, which means somebody went to a reader to try to tap into your energy. My aunt wants to meet you. And somebody's moving assets into other entities, trying to use you to get to the top. So someone has some type of stature or celebrity status or something like that. So please like this video if it resonates at all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all.